What up, guys? Welcome back. So today we're checking out a pair of earbuds, the Xiao Do Do Smart Buds Pro, a $49 pair of earbuds that are feature-packed. AliExpress is where you're going to get them, so it will take a few weeks for them to arrive, but these things have a ton of options, a ton of things going for it, and a lot of things that I have not seen on other earbuds ever. So we're going to talk about everything in this video. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, drop a sub, but let's check out the do smart buds pro bluetooth 5.2 some of the specs on the side which we'll go over all of the specs this does have app support qr code right here this will take you scan that qr code it will take you doesn't matter what you're on iphone or an android device it will take you and you can download the app and get all of the functions inside of the app and there's a ton you can do which of course i am going to show you today now we get some paperwork of course typical paperwork nobody really cares about we do get extra small small and large silicone tips mediums will come out of the box and USB-C to USB-A to charge these guys up and the actual earbuds and the case now it is a glossy finish unfortunately before the price I'm not going to complain about that the one LED light here on the front the branding on the front the port on the bottom to charge now the pairing button is on the side actually of these earbuds and we'll take these out so you guys can get a better look on these earbuds. So very similar looking sort of to the AirPod Pros, kind of the same size as the AirPod Pros as well. Very simple stem style earbuds, not bad at all. Now we do have the oval silicone tips on here, so they do give me a better fit. Now the stems on here are very unique and we're going to go over that once we go inside of the app. But you do have squeeze controls. You also have tap controls and you also have sliding up and down for your volume. So three different ways will give you three different options on how you control these earbuds. So very unique. Now, throw these in, we'll take a look at the app. Now, real quick, let's go over some of the specs on these earbuds. So inside of the app, as you can see here again, available on iOS and Android devices, Bluetooth 5.2, price 49 bucks, ANC up to 40 decibels of active noise cancellation on these earbuds. There is a transparency mode, three mics on each earbud, app support, in-ear detection. There is a gaming mode, 12 millimeter drivers on here. Battery life is about seven hours and about 35 total and with ANC on about five hours. There is a quick charge on here, a 10 minute charge. will get you two hours of use on these earbuds. Now this also has dialogue translation that supports up to 45 languages where you can go in and you can have conversations with people that don't speak your language and you can set it up and do it from say English to Chinese or Chinese to English, however you want to do it. It supports a ton of languages. Simultaneous interpretation, call recording. You can also record calls on here directly into the app, whether it's from WhatsApp, Zoom, whatever it may be. You can also take notes and leave voice notes. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But the app here, again, we're on an iPhone right now, but same app on Android devices. The battery percentage is here on your device for the case and for the earbuds. Now, when you first get these earbuds, there is going to be a firmware update because some of the options might not be available. If you don't have those options available when you do it, check for the firmware update. It will be there. Download the update and you will get some of these new options on here. So the dialogue translation, again, if we click start, you can see English to Chinese and all of these languages are supported. So you can talk to, well, people that don't speak our language, which is very cool. Simultaneous interpretation, same thing. You can display each language at the same time as you are speaking. It is very cool. I did try it out at work. I do have a lot of friends who speak Chinese or speak Thai at work and it does work fairly well. Sometimes there's a little delay, a little lag, but it does work pretty well. Now call recording, you can recall. When you get a call, you'll have an option here to start recording and your voice note. You can just take notes. You can use the phone directly or you can put your headphones on to record. So very cool here. Now, if we click on device settings, it takes you into the transparency mode, off or noise cancellation. So you can control all of that inside of our app. Your quick operation, check this out. So we're going to start here. See where it says tap, press and swipe. So three different options on these. So if you want to squeeze kind of like the AirPods Pro, right? You squeeze to use all of the functions. If you tap once, well, actually we're on tap right now. 
So tap, if you tap once, play and pause, tap twice, next song, and tap three times, previous song, and tap once will be to hang up the phone. Now, the squeeze option here, if you press, press the left ear, it will go between ANC transparency mode or just turn it off. You can also reject a call. And your swipe options here increase and decrease the volume. So we do have full controls. They are just different controls. So we get a swipe, we get a press, and we get a tap. Let me know, drop some comments. I've never seen this on any pair of earbuds. I've seen swipe and tap, but never three. Never tap, squeeze, and swipe. I've never seen that on any pair of earbuds. Now, you do get an ear tip fit test, which does work pretty good. I tried it a few times. The first time I did it, I didn't have good seal. I went back and I adjusted it, and it did give me the good seal. So very cool. We're not going to do that again. Sound customization. This is kind of like a sound ID, like we have on some of the other earbuds, and it does improve the sound quality for me. I do like what it did. It will play a bunch of tones, and you will tell it when you can hear those specific tones, and then it will customize the sound to whatever that test is for you. Now, this is your gaming mode, of course. Now, this will drain the battery if you're gonna use this, the gaming mode on here. Your in-ear detection, you can turn that on or off. Your user's guide, of course, which we're not gonna go into the user's guide. We all know what that is. And the firmware update, this is where you will go for your firmware update. We'll check for another update, but we are on the latest edition, as you can see here. But once again, when you do get these, you will have to do a firmware update um, because some of the things, I forget what they are because I've been using these for a while now, but some of the things inside of the app were not available right away after the firmware up, like gaming mode. Gaming mode was one of them. It wasn't there when I first started using these earbuds. I did the update, gaming mode did appear after that. Now. Let's do three mics on each earbud. We're going to do a mic test. All right, guys, this is the mic test for the Do Smart Buds Pro. Feature pack, $49 right now. When they did drop, they were almost 100 bucks when they first came out. They have fallen all the way to $49, right around 50 bucks. So you can pick these up. I'll drop the links. But let me know, three mics on each earbud. Let me know the call quality and what you think of the microphones. Now let's talk about transparency mode and noise cancellation. So noise cancellation up to 40 dBs of noise that it does block out. And for $49, these are probably the best ANC earbuds that I've heard at this price point. The ANC on here is strong. It's very good. It does a really good job. All of the low rumbles gone. Some of the voices you can still hear, but for the price at 50 bucks, Great job with the ANC. And the transparency mode on here is good, not great. A uh, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of white noise, but they're not bad. I would like it to be a little more powerful. I think the ANC on here is excellent. The transparency mode on here is good, not great. All right, guys, now as far as latency with these earbuds, even before I did the update, watching YouTube videos, no problem. Watching Amazon Prime videos, no problem. Really no delay. If, it, if there was a delay, you can fix it just by speeding it up and it will correct itself. Now the gaming mode does help somewhat. Gaming on here, not really an issue. If you're playing some of, of the more intense games, you will, you're still gonna notice the delay. These are wireless earbuds. There always will be a slight delay but it will drop the amount of delay down slightly. Overall, good job with the gaming mode on these earbuds. Just be aware that it will drain your battery even faster. All right, sound quality and volume on the Do Smart Buds Pro. So as far as volume goes, these things are loud enough. I don't think anybody's gonna have an issue with how loud they get. You guys know I, I just like loud music. I don't turn it up like I used to, but I do still listen to it at a pretty good volume and these give me plenty of volume no issues there now the sound quality on here i do suggest doing the customized sound it did improve the sound quality for me it did give me more bass on here 12 millimeter drivers on here and it's good these are a good sounding pair of earbuds especially if you like that bass and you do the personalized sound it did improve the bass pretty good like dramatically almost for me when it comes to bass before i did that the bass was just okay. It was more bright, more of a brighter and louder pair of earbuds. After I did the customized sound, it did bring that bass level up to where I like, where I like it, honestly. Now, the bass, it's not the cleanest bass. There is some good bass. It does linger for a little bit. It doesn't, you know, muddy up anything else on the earbuds, but it is present. You can tell that it does linger for a minute. But saying that, 
These are a fun pair of earbuds. These are great for the gym, good bass, good rumble. You're gonna feel it a little bit as long as you do the customized sound. Well, I guess it will be different for everybody depending on how your sound test goes. But for me, it brought the bass up exactly where I like it. Now, these can get bright. Unfortunately, there is no EQ on here we can, where we can turn that down, but some people might like that. The clarity on here is good. They're $50 pair of earbuds, guys. They get super loud. The volume on here is exactly where it needs to be. The sound quality on here is really good. Now, I didn't notice any difference between ANC, transparency mode, or turning everything off when it comes to the sound quality, so no distortion there. Overall, these sound good. Not the cleanest pair, but I've heard worse. For the price, you can't go wrong. But the Do Smart Buds Pro, look, feature packed inside of the app, all kinds of things we can do. 45 different languages. This does support call recording on here, in ear detection, app support, really, really good. Active noise cancellation. Battery life is average on these earbuds. A gaming mode, transparency mode is okay on here, Bluetooth 5.2. Overall, let me know. There's a quick charge too. 10 minutes, about two hours of battery life. But let me know what you think of the Do Smart Buds Pro. I'll be back soon. Peace.